So we got uh, Michael Williams from last year's draft. Here's Burrow to throw right away. Oh! Joey! Holy shit! I wasn't even ready for all that. Nine seconds in. Just moments in the game to get a short field touchdown off of their big defensive play. Now on the other side, they Ooh, he cut under that shit. Way. That's amazing. Made their uphill battle just a little bit tougher. So now you've got their offense coming out for the first time with great initial field position. And they will be led out by their 6-3 quarterback. Great start, baby. Great start. After two weeks of the season, he might be your MVP already seven touchdown passes in just two games. And we're in the red zone, too. Let's go. In real life, they don't hand you out anything this early. A lot of games left to get through between now and the playoffs. We got right up here in his back. Cross out. Actually, yeah, let's see what these safeties do. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, I didn't even. <laughs> I didn't even mean to throw it to him. That could have been real bad. That was bad. <laughs> All right, here we go. That was my fault. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. Yeah. They'll look to throw here. Johnny Wilson. There we go. Woo. A great effort there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. Now walk it out. Walk it out. Walk it out. Walk it out. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. And here, it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone. That's how they demoralize teams. That's how they put them on. Johnny Wheels. The extra point by Slar is up and good, and that makes the score 7 nothing. Joey Slar. Come on, baby. Boo! This take it in at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. All right, let's go, bro. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second Texans drive. out there. And the interception on that opening drive winds up leading to the touchdown, so now it's kind of time to start over. Yeah, it certainly is, and his first throw of the game. But I like the way his guys rallied around him. Oftentimes, the quarterback is the leader, right? He tells everybody. Yeah, I traded Michael. Uh, or I traded for Michael, and I gave up my uh, the Atu Leitu and like the first and second pick from like pick three years from now. But yeah, and I gave him JC. Tackle Drew. Gotta stick with him, baby. Across the 25-yard line. The drive started with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about Don't trying worry. to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide it. But the tight end drag route. Oh, 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 good run. Okay. Yeah, Raheem, Raheem Sanders. Yeah, he's nice. The numbers for him from a week ago. 11 carries, 51 yards, and a touchdown. Just an all right day from him last week. And he, he's like, I think he's big too. He's like 6'2, like 240. But he's like 81 overall, so he's like 22, so he's really nice. And his focus, getting some extra yardage with every carry he receives this week. From the 34 yard line, here's second down and three. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. Man open, that's Jamar. Ooh, go for that ball, baby. And Chase going to pick up a Bengals first down as he'll be brought down at the 42-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. And we'll see what we do with that. On 
Good tackle. Oh, he dropped. What? Let's go, Verse. What is, what is the spin for? I wasn't even spinning. Well, this city, St. Louis, so heartbroken when the Rams left for L.A. following the 2015 season. But they oh, believe down. they get a chance to get a team back here someday. And now today's the day. An NFL relocation team back here. In, and now as with God damn it. Oh, I just ruined the whole story. I'm sorry, St. Louis. But yeah, I know y'all upset the Rams left, bro. Again. After review of the play, or some shit like that. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down and that will not be ruled a fumble. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. There's a short throw. Good tackle. I was trying to put uh marching right along first God damn it. on a pickup of eight there. Cole Komet's nice you know, too. God. Blitz. Doesn't matter where it's coming from. Tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to Get speak. that, Joey. Let's go, baby. Oh. Oh. Let's go, Joey. Get after that man. Dude, that's the second one he's jumped. And I put no out uh, or outside shade on him too, so I guess that's why he's jumping those routes from the outside. Good shit, Joey. And to think I was questioning uh, letting go of JC. Actually, hold on. This might actually work. Yeah. Uh, let's get an instant real quick. Dude, he he probably could have had that catch too. Oh my goodness. Up there, good shit, Joey. Fuck yeah, he's about to have three turnovers just by himself. They'll try and start this drive in the air, going up top. Oh, right back! Wow. No way. Good fucking pig, dude. Okay, Cheetah Bay. Interceptions in that game, but this defense, they're able to take advantage of an early mistake. Now Damn, that needed to go further defense. over top. Good pick. To go oh shit, we hot? And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback. Get him, Michael. What a fucking ball! Holy shit. I think he just cooled us down, too. I oh, know, Coop's still ready. Yeah! Ah, oh, get the butt! <laughs> Let's go, baby! Let's fucking go, boys. And a fumble. I think we Let's know go, Crow. Right Without question, and we've seen the evidence, just what you talked about there. If they take care of the football, number one, maybe they're Croy, not however you say it. And number two, maybe they actually have the lead. All right, let's go, JC. Oh, my God, what the hell? Dude, what the fuck? What is going on? There's been a lot of fumbles right now. Fucking Ted Hendricks, bro. Or er, Hen Hendrickson. Hendrickson? Jesus. All right, let's go. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Good fucking hit, Barrett. Yeah. Yeah. 
initially it's a one yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11. But you look at this defense and they come in a top 10 unit against the pass currently eighth in the NFL. And when you're getting ready to face the number one overall offense in the NFL it does not matter where you rank defensively because you got your hands full. You don't know what you're going to face but you know that that's a strong unit that you're getting ready for. A loss of a yard there to start out that leads to a second and 11. Now it's Burrow. Good tackle, Coop. They'll give him four yards there. Third and seven now. Well, this defense, Charles, really played well in that win a week ago. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through receptions, what do you do now when you go into a game? Do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try and run it more? Or do you tell your quarterback, make sure you see your guys open before you deliver? Good fucking defense, Joey. I kind of gave him a little nudge with Coop, but I'll take it. Joey Porter, have a fucking game, my boy. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. This will be fielded at the 17. Ooh, big boy. Come on, Alvin. I know you better than that. Back out and set to go for their next drive. They've got a seven nothing lead in the football as well as they start out first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Good block, baby. Braylon Allen. Shout out Wisconsin. Yeah, get your ass off the field, dirty ass. Ooh. Bro, he injured three Ravens players in one game. Like, how do you how do you unintentionally do that with hip drop tackles? How do you do? They'll set up to throw. God damn it! Tackle camp. God damn it, now that's two interceptions. That's tough. So that changes things. You get the interception and then to boot a good return tacked on. And really it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return. And that's one you would think the defender would win. But a nice job there of seeing the play. Well, I can't throw any more than two. Definitely don't want that to happen. Here's first and ten at the 18. Now Burrow. Looks for the out route and it's complete to Clement. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. So eight yards on the completion there, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Now it's Burrow. Steps away. Bro, that ain't no fumble, though. Four yards there as they let him out. Ooh. In the first time, but looks like a second early interception got through to it. Now he understands. Don't force a throw if it's not there. Oftentimes, running is the better play anyway. God damn, good fucking pass. A great play there. His first touchdown of the new season, and the Bengals are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. It's never fun for a defense to run on the field knowing that they're having to defend a short field. Just the idea of trying to limit an offense in that position, daunting for a defense. Evan McPherson for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Bro, this, is, this first quarter is my fault. I had a good first drive, and then everything just went crazy after that. Taken at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown. So 7 7 the score as they begin first and 10. Let's go, B. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Oh, let's go, Braylon. Break away, baby. With the, with the juke. Oh, at the speed again. Oh, my God. Braylon Allen. 
Oh my God. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so outran Juke. Outran. Example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we all wow. state about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And all right, lead us down. to victory then. Dude, we need an instant replay. And I saw the linebackers flow, and I was like, well, shit, I guess I'm just going to have to take it. Great block by Taylor Stover. Zune literally blocking three people, span forward, sealing the edge right there. Just beautiful. And then 93 speed, outran. 88 juke. I don't see how that wasn't a, a script, but got out of that. And then had enough energy left to accelerate. Oh man. Braylon Allen, everybody. Welcome to the squad. Would I say it's worth trading Tank Bixby? It's looking like it is. And uh, Steelers traded Tank to uh, Buffalo. Buffalo's already got like two good running backs. With uh, James Cook, and then they drafted like a rookie. He's like the same overall as Tank, so. See if Tank has a good career in Buffalo. Super Bowl champ, Tank Bixby, you know. This fielded right at the goal line. That's a good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know the Good sack, Michael. And if both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better. It's the Williams brothers at D tackle. Got Ty Leak, and now I got Michael. They gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. They're yeah, just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if we're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now, the quarterback's been tackle, Barrett. Last couple of games. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19 yard line. So the completion results there in nine yards. Third and seven now. <laughs> Through one corner, 14 7, our score. Good quarter. It's crazy first quarter. quarter and it's the Bengals in control of the football. Here's third and seven. As they've got it as we resume action. On third down, Burrow. Joey! Oh my god. Three? Charles, and we haven't even departed the first half of this ball game. I think if you're looking at the stats right now, you're saying, all right, who's the leading receiver? Holy shit, Joey. Maybe he is and could be for Dude, the that no outsider is just no joke. Or the outside him, shade. He must be on the field at all times. That's cr I'm going to have to run that. Back out and set to go for their next drive. That's insane, bro. They'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. Dude, another Joey Porter pick in the first, first, like, what, nine minutes? Crazy, bro. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Ooh, good fucking good. D, Turner. Touchdown of this first half, a second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him. Ah, come on, Booker. Get to him, man. I like what they were 
trying to get done, even though they were successful. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. They'll set up a throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Let's go back at and it. And they're going to stop him short of the first down as he's tackled at about the 21. There we go. They'll look to throw. Bro. Oh. If I'm pressing square to catch the ball and run, why the fuck is he doing that? Oh my god. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. Doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. Bro. That'd be fucking kidding me, Drew. Six. Bro, he's got pick artists and he's aggressive play ball. And you telling me he at six five he's not gonna jump for that with pick artists. Like bro, that can happen, dog. Like come on EA. Like pick artists. Like I could have made that user catch if I was controlling fucking oh my god. In the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play Fucking sheets. Fucking ridiculous. And he wondered if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. This taken in at the goal line. And all deep in his own territory. Dog, what the fuck? One of the DBs has it. There they'll be inside the red zone. With a ball at the 16 yard line. As that ball got away from Hold on to the fucking ball, guys. You felt his pain? What is y'all's fucking problem? Tuck it away. Take care of the ball. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Every guy that plays this game has plenty of people around him that are concerned for his health and well being. He had no regard for his body on that catch at all, did he? Middle of the field, diving to grab it? No, he didn't. Good fucking hit, Trayvon. That's what I'm looking for. Gets into the backfield and spills the play. Yeah, he was AFC Defensive Player of the Week last week because of plays just like that. Good fucking tackle, Drew. That's what I'm looking for. Good fucking tackle, Michael. Let's go, baby. And he was a pro bowler as a rookie. I still got Corleone. Don't worry. He, he's my third DT. I got him in on some formations. Corleone's my run, my run stopper that I put him in on. So on fourth down, off goes Burrow. On comes Evan McPherson for the Bengal field goal. McPherson's kick is good. Jesus. They take a 17 14 lead. Quez, hold on to the fucking ball, dog. Drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times. And Johnny. And he likes touchdowns. Come the fuck on. Loves to see points on the board, so let's see if it changes a little bit in this 
same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here. Go for us. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll drop to throw. Let's go, Taylor. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Back to throw again. Give it to me, baby. Go, baby. Now Joey Sly for the you got to play some defense. That I mean, I understand. I got me like a little, you know, 75-yard play. They got them a little 75-yard play. So. Shit happens, but god damn it. Just a crazy-ass first half. I'm trying to hold them under 20, too. Well, let's knock some socks off, baby. Let's go, Abraham. Abram, hats off to you, baby. Cincinnati set to take over once again. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Come on, Drew. Let's tackle, baby. But you met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Here Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Good shit, Burst. That's what I'm talking about. Bro, what are you doing? Croy. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. Well, there's no disputing. He's made some poor throws in this first half. Like, what, what is he doing? And you can bet this is an offense that isn't going to pull back. They believe in what he can do. So all you can do is look forward and they pick up a first down. Here we go. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Good D, Iggy. Complete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Now a second and ten. Burrow looking to pass. Bro, I got 90 hit power. What do you mean I'm not knocking the fuck out of him? Let's go, Barrett. Pull his ass off. Oh, yeah. Tress way as he sends this one away. 
Bro. I wanted to take that. to go is still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead should they so choose they go play action here on first down good ball baby God damn. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. <laughs> on first down, he'll drop to throw. Going deep here for Watkins. Woo. Knocked away and incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Good catch, Johnny Wilson. Well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 22 yards there on first down. Got to like what we're seeing from him so far in this game. This is the third game of the season. He's already accumulated an AFC Offensive Player of the Week award in this young year. Yeah, week two was his. The announcement came Wednesday that he got that award. To throw again. Oh my God! Abdul Carter. Good sack. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. They'll put it down right at the 40. So call this a 50. -yard Joey Sly. Sly able to put this one through, and that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's, right. that's no crazy, crazy Let's first half. To it. Week three, here we go with quarter three. Can't run outside, crazy. All right, shut down the show pass. Then. Shut down the show pass. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway? God damn, hold on to the ball. Thank you. Probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16 yard line. This offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. But Charles, for them, just give it to the young man then. Half on the ground, they had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now. A chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Ooh. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it. And in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. Now a nice good ball, good catch, baby. He holds it in, and he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Back to throw now on first down. Wide open 
Good catch, Taylor. zone coverage if he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene that's what's going to happen no doubt about it if there's no pressure he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield you can only cover for so long so maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme get a little bit more pressure remember when carolina did that against denver they lost the game ultimately they dropped the defensive end out and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl. Cash, baby. Maybe some sort of scheme worked out to try and get more pressure at the passer. A well executed 22 yard gain. Again, he'll drop the throw. Oh. Bro, if he didn't get fucking nudged on his route, dude, he was out of there. Goddamn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, the incompletion, but now we also have an injured player. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Get out of there, Chance. Good slide, baby. Good slide. Picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. How many times do we hear the third down may be the most important See that footwork in the pocket? No better example than what we just saw right there. Forced to scramble, knows where the first down marker is, dives for it, and gets it. What a big time play putting his body on the line to pick up a key first down. Good catch, Taylor. Good ball, JC. Charles, you take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken it off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big time drive in that situation. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And a lead now up to 14. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. From a yard or two deep. Boom! Come on, Abram. Decision to bring it out. Not a good one as he's tackled at the 15. Boom so as hit stick. Now as they get their first possession of this second half. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small match? Good tackle, Iggy. A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, Tackle, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve throw one to him every so often but more mainly they want about the tackle play. drew nowadays an integral part of the passing game and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver the tackle made there by drew sanders second down and eight Oh, Brown. It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you off sides. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Now this throw. Coverage, Croy. 
gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Good shit, Drew. Let's go, baby. They lose a yard there on third. I think this running game, or should I say, lack of one, is making this defense look better than what they really are. Here's Tressway now. That's what can be, baby. For Cincinnati. This is taken at the 23. Mm. 39 yard punt, six yards on the return. And it Johnny will be Wilson. Ten as they take over. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. The partner is a part of the defensive back. I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but. Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Mm. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll leave them with a third and three. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Good first, baby. Three yards there on the first down pickup. So far this season, this is an offense that's proved its ability to move the football. I mean, they're in the top five in the NFL of picking up first downs, and they get the conversion here. And I think a lot of that is due to how they win on first and second down because that leaves them third and short, third and manageable. A lot easier to pick them up. There. Good block, baby. Oh, come on. Two yards to go, second down. Dog, Kelly. Oh, my God, dude. Back now here on EA Sports. As we're about ready to rock and roll for the fourth and final quarter. The offense on third down tonight. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and three. Good run, Camara. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and ten at the 47. Back to throw here. Let's go, baby. What you mean I'm hot and couldn't get a fucking stiff arm? Come on, EA. play a chance to finish now on first and goal he'll drop to throw his pass caught at the four so they'll get nothing out of that play and it'll bring up a second and goal second and three Oh, it was so close. On the throw there, down around his feet and incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs oh, underneath shit. him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. There we Fourth go. Quarter, maybe you do start to watch as the arm there. The All we got is Cheetah Bay, Bay over there, man. I <laughs> dare. He's still made the fucking tackle. Malik Willis fake holder blast. Malik Willis. Oh. Oh. Oh man, it was almost there. 
the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. Come on, Taylor, hold that blood. That cliches have become so for a reason. A lot of times they're true, right? What's that they used to tell us about letting sleeping dogs lie? Well, this one wasn't sleeping. Maybe just slumbering a little bit. But taking that gamble there, you've got the lead. Ooh, come on. I know you want it, Drew. If you take the points here, you don't shift momentum necessarily on that play. You probably just did. Here we go. Now a second and six. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. Connecting on the outlet. Tackle. And they'll get him down here. The 23. Burrow hooking up with Higgins for a Bengal first down. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man. Bro, that's on me. Too. Oh my God, he broke the fucking tackle. Jesus Christ. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Here we go, here we go. On first and ten, Joe Burrow. Let's go. What the fuck? And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game. Yay. What the fuck? Okay, I guess he broke that. But what a fucking animation to come out of. It still fucking gets rid of the ball. Come on, Michael. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect. And try to pick up another first down. Here's second and ten. Now it's Burrow. Joey, good fucking defense, boy. Offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Throwing again, it's Burrow. Oh, he fucking dropped it. Good drop. So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big hit on them as they try and catch the ball. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. Let's go, Joey. I, I could have picked it off, but I, I didn't want to take any chances. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And as a result, possession switches hands. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So if they can't let that dream go just yet, they have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. What up, Taylor? That is brought down. That'll put him at 66 receiving yards now for the game, and he's got a first down. And most over. Give me a block, baby. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the Good run, Braylon. He stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down. Stay in bounds. Keep that clock roll. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you get. Dog. Because oh, that's the God. by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense oh, section. Offense. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. And they'll give him another shot here. Oh, good fucking run, Braylon. Hold on to that ball, baby. Down inside the 40. 128 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's going on. 
This now a third and four. Bro, oh um, go out, dog. Fuck are you doing? Like it's a choice route. Why is he staying right where the linebacker is at? He should be doing the out route, bro. Fuck you. Fucking hate playing the Bengals. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Three picks, three tutties. They've got the lead. They're in good shape, but can't go into a shell here, right? Still got to be careful. Yeah, because they're still a long way away from the down time. So they've got work on getting first down. Keep the sticks moving, right? Keep the clock going. What up, Quez? Let's go, baby. Good pass. Down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. Oh, this is it. Not Just totally give me some blocks. Free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. One back in the backfield. He'll get the Stover. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a time Please. defensively with a minute 56 to go. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Jesus Christ. To protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Backed up here. Tough spot. Needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, they're going to run for it here. Good run, Braylon. But that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. Now the Bengals gonna sit good fucking run, baby. And final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Joey Schla. And this is good from 57 yards. Best kicker in the league. Right there. And that will extend their lead even further. So that one CD gonna make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now. As you pointed out, a very difficult oh, game a little closer than I would like for it to be, but you need a chain of events to go fuck it. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. So Burrow and the Bengals down by 10. A minute 36 to go. And they're in danger of a third straight loss as they come up on first and 10. Now Burrow. Croy. Come on, baby. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up. That's my rookie right there. Deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Burrow. Good sack. Let's go, verse. Bro, what a fucking pass. Let's go, Michael. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, baby.
Croy! Good fucking defense, boys. Let's go, boys. Let's go, Trayvon. They had to go through with such little time remaining, and that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just Good left down on that They're one. They're down to none. Yes, exactly right. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And now following the desperation turnover on downs, they're set up with a first and goal to go. Oh, let's get an inch, stamp, replay. Dude, what a bull rush. So I'm talking about Williams. It's exactly why I got him too, just just for the interior pass rush. Oh my. We are there. God damn it, bro. Fucking Cheetah Bay. Ugh. I just want this week to be over. Yeah, fuck out of here. Dude, four interceptions, dog. Ugh. Let's face it, this defense has had to share struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there. Let's go, verse. And he's going to be driven down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Throwing now is Joe Burrow. Come on. Complete on a deep ball. Well, this is getting close to a no win situation now. They've got one final shot. They're on their end of the field, and it's fourth and long. This might require a little extra razzle dazzle to get it done. A final shot now for Burrow. He's going to let it fly. Let's go, Brown. Had to get ours, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Oh, I can't believe I threw four picks, dude. It's a victory for their hometown guys. If you step back and look at this CD, a pretty impressive victory. Not the best defense in the NFL they were going against, but it is a top 10 defense in this league, and they're pretty sound, but yet they found a way to get it done and get the victory. Yeah, I got to give them credit because I think their game plan was really, really strong for this one. They knew where they wanted to attack. They knew how they wanted to execute, and they did it with confidence and a little bit of verve as well. Hell yeah. Ooh, we got Caleb next week. Okay. All right. So until next week, you hear me. <laughs>